so, uh, um, so Charlie, I was, I have to admit, I was surprised to get your resume. Um, you know, apparently you've been selling security systems this past summer. Uh, it looks like you've worked for a few companies. Um, you know, what's, what was your reason for leaving the last company you were with? I just got tired of subscribing to something with a 5% success rate. As, you, a, as, as a retired gambler, I need better odds than that, you know? Okay. Um, so, so why are you interested in North Star? Duh. Winning. All right. I, I, I see you were actually one of the top sellers just this past month. Um, yeah, how were you able to do that? I, I, I closed my eyes and, and, and made it so with the power of my mind. Now, now I heard you wore a tool belt on the doors because one of our managers, Lance Riddick, uh, told you to do that. No, I did, I did that because they work. How, how did that tactic work for you? Don't remember, don't care. Drug tests don't lie. Did you, did you miss any days on the doors? Um, not a day that cost anybody any money. I missed practice. We're talking about practice. To quote the great Allen Iverson, practice. Come on, guys, we're talking about practice. All right, well, all right, moving on. I understand the last company you worked for is filing a lawsuit. Uh, they're claiming that you were violent and angry during the correlation meetings. Yeah, they don't know me. They, and, and the same people talking about those incidents weren't there. So how much can they really discuss a situation they were not involved with? You know, at that point, it's all just judgment and opinion and just the, the gibberish of fools. So you weren't angry during correlation meetings? Passionate. I think my, my passion is misinterpreted as, as, as anger sometimes. And... Um, and I don't think people are ready for the message that I'm delivering and delivering with, with, uh, with you know, a sense of violent love. You know, I, I actually, I spoke with one of your uh, former managers and he told me that you refused to read any of the sales training manuals. It was written for normal people, people that aren't special, people that don't have tiger blood and, you know, Adonis DNA. And, and you refused to attend the preseason trainings. For amateurs, come on, no, I'm fine. I've always had a plan and I've always executed it perfectly. Sometimes I overshoot the mark, whatever. Do you feel like you owe this former company an apology? No, they owe me a big one, publicly, while licking my feet. And if people think I'm insane or they don't think that what I'm saying is true, then I have no interest in, in, in their uh, retarded opinions. I really don't, you know. Um, people have said you're talking about beating Danny Toledo's record next summer. Uh, how do you plan to do that? Uh, with, with zeal and, and focus and, and violent hatred. You, 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 either, you either love or you hate. You live in the middle. You get nothing. What is the difference between a successful rep and an unsuccessful one? They allowed defeat to be an option. I will not. Don't take this the wrong way. Uh, both Jay Dresser and J.D. Meekham have said they're not interested in having you in their office next summer. Fools, trolls, weak, defeated. And defeat is not an option. They picked a fight with a warlock. Really? Well, you, you sound pretty confident. I'm gonna live my life the way I want. I'm gonna win inside of every moment and, uh, and they can just find the most comfortable chair in their small house and uh, sit back and enjoy the show. Uh, well, Charlie, thanks for coming in. Uh, we'll get back with you, let you know our decision. Take it or leave it. Okay.